Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be an ASOS haul and I'm really excited about this haul because it's going to be a little bit different from usual and that is because I've decided to start a brand new series here on my channel um, which is going to be an ASOS basics series. So basically once a month I'm going to go ahead and order from ASOS but just from one specific department and I'm going to order all the items from their own brand. Um, so I just thought this would be a really good opportunity to get a sort of like rounded review of like ASOS's own brand products because I know I absolutely love ASOS and I'm sure a lot of you guys do. I always get a really lovely nice and positive response to all my ASOS videos so I just thought it would be like quite a like helpful series to be honest. Um, so yeah so like in the tops that I'm going to do today I went ahead and ordered like ASOS's own like ultimate like vest and um, they're like own denim shirt, a blouse, like a going out cami, so like all the sort of essentials that pretty much everyone has in their wardrobe and I just thought this would be a really good thing for anyone that's sort of looking for those things and they can get like a really good review. Um, so yeah I'm gonna get straight in with the whole video and I'm gonna show you of course everything up close and I'm also gonna add in a try on section as well. So I'm gonna start off with probably the most basic of basic items which is just the ASOS Ultimate white t-shirt. So I've had this quite a long time now, well probably about, I don't know, maybe five, six months or something like that. Um, so I already wear this all the time and I know that I absolutely love it. So I always get these in a size 10, I find that's the perfect sizing for me. Um, I think these are a really lovely fit because they're slightly more fitted sort of around the shoulder and bust area but then just go straight down into a really sort of comfortable loose fit at the bottom. Um, I usually wear mine with like skinny jeans or sometimes I wear it like under my pinafore dress, things like that. Um, I do really really like these as well because they are like such a crisp white colour and they're not see-through at all. I'd also like to mention that they're 100% cotton so that's always another bonus because it means they wash really nicely and they're perfect for wearing in the summer months when it's going to be a little bit warmer. So yeah these obviously get a thumbs up from me and as I already own it I already knew that. Um, I'd also like to mention that these definitely come in the um, two pack so where you can get like a black and a white one I'm sure you get like 20 or save 20 or 30 percent which is also really good but I think full price on their own I think they're about eight pound so yeah really really like this one and yeah it's just a really good option for a basic white tee. Here I've popped on the basic white t-shirt and I really do love this as I said I already actually owned this so obviously I like it and um, I just think it's a great t-shirt for throwing on with skinny jeans I think it's a really good length and um, it sort of lies at that perfect length where you don't feel like you have to tuck it in because it's too long but equally you could tuck it in if you wanted to. I mean like I did say it's crisp white a really lovely fit perfect across the shoulders and bust area so yeah, overall a really great basic t-shirt and for £8 I think you can't go wrong. Next I picked up the ASOS's own ultimate vest. So I just went for this in white. So, so far it looks really nice. It's just got sort of like thick straps and a scoop neck and it's the same at the back which I really like the style of that. Obviously this is just great for throwing on with jeans or even if you just want to wear it underneath a jumper or something like that. Um, again it's definitely a brilliant white which is good and um, just like the t-shirt. I've just had a little look before this unfortunately isn't 100% cotton, it's 50% cotton and 50% viscose, which is still okay. Um, I guess in a vest it's not as much of a big deal what the material is. But yeah, I mean, I like the look of this, it feels good quality, and these are £5, so I think that's really, really reasonable. So I can't wait to try this on and see exactly what it looks like. So here is just the plain white vest, and I really like the fit of this actually. It sort of fits me perfectly around my bust, it's not too low or anything like that, and then it's just super comfortable and bad around the bottom. Obviously I've actually tucked in the bottom just because that's how I'd probably wear this vest anyways. But yeah, like I said, it's crisp white. I mean, for £5 I think that is a good deal. If you're looking for just a basic vest, I would definitely recommend. If I just quickly turn around, you can see exactly what it's like from the back. So obviously it is a rounded hem, but you obviously just couldn't see that at the front because it was tucked in. But yeah, I do like this vest and like I say, if you're looking for a new one, I think this one is perfect. So I also picked up a denim shirt because I think that is such an essential for everybody's wardrobe. Um, I just think everyone looks good in a denim shirt. So this is it here. 
and this is in the Cali Light Wash Blue, that's what they call it on the website, and these are £20. Um, first impressions, it feels really nice, it's nice and thin, it feels like it's going to be like really, really comfortable, and it's also like soft, which is nice. Um, it does have these like brown buttons that go all the way down, and on the collar, which I think is nice. But just turn around, it does have a bit of a pleat detail and a little hook, which I do, again, think is a really nice bit of detail. So yeah, it's just a really, really classic piece, I really do like it. I think with denim shirts there's so many different ways to wear them like it depends on you the person how you like to wear them but you know like I could wear this tucked into a pair of jeans I think that would look cool they look cool like denim on denim with a pair of denim shorts Um, I really like denim shirts sort of open over a vest or you can wear them open over a dress in the summer there's just so many different ways that you can wear them so I just think they're a really sort of flattering thing to always have handy because I know I get tons of wear out of my like current one but yeah so far I'm really impressed with this and I picked this up in a size 8 and it was £20. Here is the denim shirt and I really really like the fit of this one. I'm kind of glad that I went for the size 8. I think it's a really nice sort of medium between not being like a baggy oversized shirt but not being super fitted either. Um, but I really also like the wash. Um, there is actually two different colours of denim shirts from ASOS's own brand and I decided to go with this one which is a slightly lighter one but I'm glad that I did. I just really really like the actual um, denim colour and like I did mention it is a really soft um, denim which is so so comfortable so I don't feel like restricted in any way like that but yeah overall a really nice um, denim shirt I mean I think for £20 that's pretty reasonable so if you were after a new one I would definitely recommend the one from ASOS I'm just going to quickly mention that obviously I've popped it on with black skinny jeans and these leopard print mules which are also ASOS and obviously I've just picked up a handbag so I also wanted to pick out like that cami that's going to be perfect for the like summery months when it's a bit warmer but it's still going to be able to be worn in a really formal way if you wanted it to. So I went for this one because I just thought it was so cute and I think a lot of people could wear this so it's just got a lovely v-neck and the spaghetti straps which is always really feminine and lovely in the summer. Um, it does have the embroidery which goes under the bust line and then goes out into an A-line sort of style at the bottom. So I really really like this. Um, from first impressions the material feels nice it's quite floaty and lightweight um, and I like the fact it's sort of crinkled I think that's just I don't know I just think it's a nice bit of detail but just turn around you can see it's got the um, little button and a little bit of a keyhole at the back which again is just a really nice bit of detail and um, so yeah I do really like the look of this one I'm hoping it's gonna fit I feel like it might be something that I might not be able to wear a bra with but I will soon find out and um, this was 16 pounds and I picked it up in a size 8 here is the sort of embroidered cami and I absolutely love this I think it's so pretty and just looks perfect with a pair of jeans and things like that. Like I said, the material is really sort of floaty and thin, so it's going to be perfect for the warmer months, or if you layer it up, I'm sure it's fine um, underneath like a jacket and stuff. Obviously, I've just popped on some distressed sort of I don't know, these are Icy Class's girlfriend jeans actually. Then some slides and obviously picked up a handbag. But yeah, really like this, love the shape of it. The adjustable straps are great and I think it gives you a really nice shape sort of bringing you in underneath the bust and then flowing out in an A-line fashion. So I also picked up a blouse because I just think everyone needs a sort of a crisp white blouse in their wardrobe. So this is the style that I went for. It's just got a V-neck, it doesn't have a collar or anything. It's just long sleeved and does have a little cuff at the end and then it just buttons down the middle. Also at the bottom it is like a rounded hem and has a little slit which I think is just a nice little bit of detail. On first impression the material doesn't feel great. I mean I think it's probably polyester um, so it's not really good for if it was a really really hot day. Um, I do like the way it flows though. It's really nice and sort of floaty and feminine so I think it would look good. Um, I think you could definitely wear this with jeans in a more like formal way if you wanted with a pair of heels but equally you could definitely wear it like chilled out or even for work if that's what you wanted it for but yeah I'm excited to try this on and see what I think when it's actually on and styled up and um, I picked this up in a 10 and it was 25 pounds so here I've popped on the v-neck blouse and I'm just going to start by saying that I absolutely love the shape of this blouse it's exactly what I'd be looking for in just a basic white blouse I love the fact it's got the curved hem and it's just very simplistic there's no buttons on the sleeves or anything and um, it just has the little white buttons that go down the middle it's very comfortable and everything like that and um, I just popped on some black skinny jeans some boots that are from Topshop this gilet which 
was in my latest Topshop haul but in a different colour and obviously just this little studded bag. But yeah, I'm just going to take off the gilet and show you exactly what the blouse is like. So and now I have the gilet off, you might be able to see that this blouse is actually quite see-through. Um, I mean, it depends what you want it for to whether that's going to be an issue. If you're looking for a blouse that you're always going to be wearing, say, under a suit jacket or something, and it doesn't matter, you just want something that's really fine but like the shape, I guess that's going to be okay. I mean, personally, I don't think I'm going to keep this one because it is so see-through. I'd feel quite uncomfortable if I was, you know, in a restaurant or anything and I took it off because you can literally see, like, you can see where my jeans um, finish, you can see, like, the tag and everything like that, and I just think it makes it, like, I don't know, it's just not right for me. If I just turn around, you can see exactly what it's like at the back, but obviously it is see-through. I mean, love the shape, but really not a fan of the material. So I also picked up a sort of cami top that would be perfect for going out. So I just decided to go for this one because I absolutely love the colour and the material. So it's obviously like a lovely satin material in a sort of olivey green, which I just think is a really flattering colour on pretty much anyone. And um, it just has the little spaghetti straps, which are adjustable, which is a definite thumbs up for me always about the adjustable straps and um, it does a crossover in the middle and creates like a v-neck and then at one side it sort of wraps over and then has two little buttons at the side which I think is just a really nice addition and um, I think this is perfect for wearing just on a night out or when you're going out for drinks with a pair of jeans or it could look really nice with like a pencil skirt or something like that so I do really really like this one um, this I picked up in a size 8 and it was £20. Here is the satin cami and I really love the colour of this and I do like the idea of it, like the wrap, I think it's got a lovely bit of detail with the buttons and stuff, however the fit just isn't quite right for me, it keeps sort of gaping open but just on one side but then the under layer that's going like underneath this side um, is quite tight but like, I don't know, it's just a really really weird fit, like I feel like it's making me look a bit wide over here, it's falling down over here but then it's tight underneath so no this just isn't working out for me it's a shame though because I really love the colour and maybe on someone else it might just fit their body shape a lot better than mine so I did also want to pick up a sort of dressy blouse because I know everyone sort of likes to wear blouse time to time when they're going out so I went for this black one which is a wrap style blouse and has this lovely frill which sort of goes like all around almost like a collar and then down the middle on the crossover at the bottom it does sort of flick out as well into a little frill which I think is really 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 lovely and it gives you like a nice bit of shape with jeans so it kind of brings you in at the waist then the little frill and then with some skinny jeans it's just a perfect look for any occasion when you're going out so I do really like this obviously it's just plain black it does have little short sleeves as well which I think is just nice to have a little bit of a sleeve and um, this was 25 pounds I think and I picked this up in a size 8 here is the black blouse and unfortunately this is just so ill-fitting, it is so low cut, like this frill is actually kind of covering where it really crosses over, so yeah it's an absolute no from me. It's such a shame because I love the design and I'm wondering whether if I sized up to a 10 it would be way too big on the shoulders because this one fits really well on the shoulders but I think there'd just be too much material on the bust area so yeah unfortunately this is just going to be a return from me. So guys that is the end of today's video, I really hope you all enjoyed. As always, if anyone has any questions or comments, just pop them down below and I'll definitely get back to you. And of course, I'll link everything mentioned in today's video in the description box as well. I mean, I really hope this has been helpful to someone. I mean, maybe you'd never ordered from ASOS or never ordered from ASOS's own brand and were pretty unsure about the quality or what to expect from that. Um, but yeah, I do really hope this has kind of helped someone. If anyone has any specific department that they'd really like to see next month, then leave that below and obviously I will take that on board but yeah I do really hope you all enjoyed this and if you did if you could please give it a thumbs up and if you pop on the subscribe button you will definitely get a notification every single Saturday when I upload so yeah thanks again for watching and I will see you all next week